Hi guys, welcome to my another tutorial for App Inventor. Uh, I'll give you the background uh, for this app. Uh, these days, uh, everybody says that we should not sit whole day at work. It is very bad for the body. So we need to keep moving every 2-3 hours. But when we go to work, we get so absorbed with our schedule that we forget to um, get up from our chair. So we thought of making one uh, uh, vid, uh, app which will keep reminding us that, okay, two hours is over, start moving. And then, then it will check for 35 minutes whether you are moving or not. And then again after two hours, it will remind you. Well, if you are not a body fitness freak, then by going through this app, at least you'll come to know how to use multiple timers in an app inventor app, how to use uh, accelerometer sensors and so many other logics. So let's begin. So let us start with a new project and I have given it a name, a name timer and open the project. We'll create some components to start with the a label component where we will show how much a person is moving. Just increase its uh, font size. It'll be easier to see. Yeah, that looks better. Then we'll add this uh, invisible component text to speech and rename it. Obviously in this app, nobody is going to see the screen. So everything has to be done by notifying by speech. Then we'll add another very important uh, invisible component accelerometer sensor, which will tell us whether a person is moving or not. Then we'll have a few timers uh, in this app and how these timers have to be used. Uh, I'll tell you later when we go into block module. So we'll create three tri timers, timer one, timer two, timer three. Basically, uh, value of these timers have to be in minutes. Like uh, first timer will be two hours means you can convert it into seconds but for the sake of testing it will be easier if we give it uh, uh, a smaller value so we'll give 60 30 and 10 seconds now all the components are in place we'll keep the timers disabled and we'll keep enabling and disabling them in the block module based on our logic. All looks fine here. So let us move to block modules. To start with, we'll just initialize the screen and enable our timer one. This timer one is just to know whether two hours or in this case, whether 60 seconds are over or not. As soon as the timer one triggers, we have to inform them time to move. So here we'll use text to speech module and write some message. 
So, yeah, here we just write something time to move or you can write any appropriate message which will be converted into a speech. So obviously when that time is over, we'll disable timer 1 and uh, enable timer 2 and timer 3. Now, timer 2 will keep checking whether the person is actually moving or not. So, whenever it triggers and there is no movement, we'll just give some kind of a message. In this case, I've just written keep moving. Timer 3 is just to let the user know whether moving time is over. In this case, we thought of 35 minutes, but we are testing with 30 seconds. And here also we'll give some message. So here we have handled all the three timers the way we wanted to. Now the most important component of this app, that is accelerometer uh, sensor. Now whenever this uh, accelerometer sensor triggers, we'll have to, to increment the counter. This is required to know how much a person is moving. So this logic is pretty simple. Just initialize a counter and whenever the shake comes, increment that counter in the uh, label component. I'll not be able to show this uh, app on the You'll have to download it and test it on your device. We have already tested it, but if you face any problem, let us know and uh, uh, we'll try to sort it out. So, yeah, more or less uh, this is done. best way to understand these tutorials is keep uh, pausing time to time and you can take the um, screenshot as I go and then you can implement very easily on your App Inventor project. So here finally I am uh, disabling and then enabling the timer to so that the whole process restarts. So yeah, that's done. If you like this video, please don't forget to like it below and subscribe to my channel for many such projects. Thank you.